is coming to talk to Mr. Jerky himself. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. How are you? Hey, man, I want to put you on a little bit of wax on my YouTube page. Can we talk to you a little bit? Absolutely. All right. So first, tell us your name. Kevin McIntyre. Mr. McIntyre, tell us a little bit about you and why you're in this business. I got the best beef jerky you've had. It's a thicker cut, soft for chew, and it's a, uh, it's just... So really let, let me ask you a question. How did you decide to go into the jerky business? What created this in your mind to get into this business? I was actually uh, talking to the guy who owned the business, and I was buying another business, and he looked over at me halfway through the negotiation and said, you want to buy a jerky business? And so I started looking at what the, the concept was, what he did, and looked at some of the business aspect of it. And, it turned out to be pretty good. So tell me a little bit about your history and your background, where you come from. I come from Oklahoma. Um, grew up there. I lived up in Connecticut for uh, 13 years. Um, kind of with the jerky, I also have a barbecue sauce. Uh, you had a chance to try it. It was a uh, uh, pack and so kind of all the meats and everything kind of gets going together. And uh, so it's a great business opportunity. So who helped influence this into your mind to do the jerky and the barbecue sauce? Uh, I've just always had that pride like yourself, the, the kind of the entrepreneur spirit, uh, you know, trying things, sometimes working that job at 9 to 5 doesn't always get you what you need. So sometimes I look at other adventures. So tell me a little bit about your family background. My family background, I've got uh, three wonderful kids, uh, they go ahead and I like to actually come here and help, they like to help that uh, sell jerky, I've had my 14 year old daughter come with me and uh, come out to some of the shows and show off right and do some things as well. So did so, your parents have something to do with this idea or your grandparents? No, Tell me about they, your grandparents. They, my, my, my parents, my uh, great grandparents. Dad, my, my great granddad did, he had a barbecue restaurant and so he actually had a restaurant and then he had his sauce on the, the store, it had about six different stores and so he had, uh, ran a store himself so he was kind of the entrepreneur type. My dad, no, he was, he was, he didn't. Uh, Strictly nine to five guy. He was strictly a nine to five guy. He was, uh, as a matter of fact, I always give the example to Andre is that if you give him 500 rubber bands and tell him he had an order for a dollar a piece, he'd be like, well, what if someone gets an eye poked out? You know, what if? <laughs> <laughs> so, so that doesn't ever lead to, to adventure or to, right. to try something out. So uh, this was just an opportunity that was came about and uh, my, my kids love it. Um, you know, so it's kind of something I just did on my own. I really didn't have the influence of my parents. But, uh, just kind of always uh, with Liz and Les Brown, uh, some of the motivational speakers about stepping out of the box and three rocks, something like that. You just gotta get that, that get that jail inside. Get Make that you jail motivate. Get going a little bit. Yes, well, I know sir. I talked to you and you told me about your grandfather was out on the range back in Oklahoma, and I just thought I'd come down and say hello and put you on my YouTube page if that's okay with you uh, and we're gonna put you out there and try to help you get along the way and more people will be contacted so if these people would love to have some awesome jerky who would they contact and where would they contact you at I have my business card right there that is uh, Kevin McDermott my phone number's on there as well you can go ahead and contact me and I'll get some sh stuff shipped out we also have the website there on it too so tell us about the kinds of jerky you have here Right. It's really good. I've had some and it tastes really awesome. It it, tell us a little bit about it. I have everything. This is like a barbecued rib. This is just your classic smoke, just like your jerky in front of the store, but 10 times better. And then we go to like a sweet red pepper. So it's uh, almost this kind with a little red pepper tinge on the back. And then you've got a uh, red pepper. You're starting to get a little bit of the heat, but not much. Uh, black pepper is our next one. And that's just a pack full of black pepper. Then you start going to some of the hot stuff. You go to the double nitro, and then the king of them all is the uh, Carolina Reaper. Oh yeah, that Carolina yeah. Reaper is some kind of awesome. I tell you, I tried that. Matter of fact, I'm gonna. I tried that last night, guys. Ooh, we is delicious. We're actually gonna do a little shot right now of the of well of me, of a uh, little Carolina Reaper. I might even have some with you. Carolina Reaper. Here we are. Here we go, America. Mm. Smooth. And, and I will say, as, as Mr. Trey is uh, promoting the, uh, the beef jerky, he's got the best barbecue. We had the, the brisket, just phenomenal. The sauce is good and everything. Uh, North Carolina sauce, absolutely wonderful. Good, good, man. Good. Even one of you even flinched. <laughs> it's out of America, it's out of <laughs> Well, wait till you cut the camera. <laughs> hey, guys, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I just want to put you on my page. Thank you, love. God bless you. America. Woo! Woo! I got to get.
<laughs> <laughs> it's really hot.